Ladies and danglers, good evening. My name is Pickle. You've probably never heard of me, which is probably a good thing. Because I want to show you why you do not want to meet me on the battlefield. I play a lot of solo versus squads, and I want to show what I did to this team that landed in with me at standoff. It is good practice to health up as soon as you can when you land. Don't run around with two-thirds health. This guy did not see it coming, and it only takes a very quick hip fire going in and out of that door frame for a split second to take him out. His teammate barely landed anything on me. I try not to poke my head out for any more than two seconds. In this particular case, I heard this guy coming and pre-aimed the corner. My health circle then helped me up, so I could still remain on the offensive without having to waste time putting armor plates on. Now I was waiting for this final enemy to come and pick up his teammates' tags, but he didn't come round this way. In fact, I saw him fleeing. Very strange. So I'm going to try my best to stick to the high ground just to be able to watch him. These roofs and their angle can provide ample cover if you just prone like this. As you can see, I've landed some great hits on him and now he is really trying Let's to get away. This. this should be easy. In case anybody's wondering where that voice came from, that's the submachine gun's new mythic camo. It's very... talkative. But rest assured, I'm a free-to-play player. I have never spent a penny on okay, this game, and I never will, go. just to prove that not everything is paid to win. And that was round one of this solo I hope you enjoyed it. So this time I have landed in at the farm, and I've heard this guy come up behind me. Unfortunately, I missed with my hip fire, as I didn't expect him to be on this top level with me. But I've helped up, and Christ, there is no good guns down here. Thankfully, this player has one for me. Now, I barely get the chance to pick up this Odin, and as you can see, I've nearly been taken out. Thankfully, though, being the medic, I get to health up extra fast with kinetic armor. So this player sneaking up behind me had absolutely no chance, even if he did manage to land a shot on me. But I'm faced with a problem. I have no weapons to take him out with. Gotta give him the old one, too. Thank you very much. I will be taking that AK. Now, sometimes I play a little sneakily and wait till these guys have ads and are shooting forward. That means that they're aimed in and they are not hip-firing and able to freely look around as quick as I can. And yes, I am utterly failing trying to execute him, so we just stick with the bullets. Having got some great loot, I can now really start pushing a little bit, and as we can see on the lower level, perhaps those tags have been collected. I need to take that guy out. I've also forgotten to reload with this gun. Thank god I spotted that or it could have been an absolute disaster. The player I'm shooting at though seems to have very little awareness of my positioning, which is why they are super easy to take out and sneak up on. They don't seem to know where I am. A good set of headphones that allow you to hear the direction of your enemies is very crucial in this game. And yes, I missed out on an extra kill there by not taking out the guy he had knocked down. I'm not sure to which team quad bike guy belongs to. Is he here to pick up the tags from the box I've just looted, or is he meant to help up his teammate? Really not sure. But once again, another enemy seems to have very little idea where I am, and they are easy pickings. Two. Re reload. And easy peasy. And that's the whole team taken out now. My final little clip for you guys takes place at the turbine. There are several bots that landed quite quickly, which is a bit annoying. You see, an enemy team had landed in the building opposite to me. So by shooting at the bots, I've given away my position. Why the bots went and targeted me instead of the enemy team is a mystery. But the element of surprise is most definitely gone. 
three bots in the first minute. So my goal was to secure the helicopter, which is what they will most likely be going for, and I stupidly ran out into the open in my haste. But being the medic, I can afford a few small mistakes here and there. I also discovered the Ravenger launcher cannot target me through this fence, making that enemy easy pickings. Always be cautious around enemies that use grenades and other explosives that they can throw. That usually indicates they are a much more experienced player to think to be able to do that. Now I am taking a very big risk slide jumping into the open like this. Like I said before, my goal is to secure the helicopter location so they can't get away. That is what they are here for and going to try and get away with. I can already hear another enemy coming up behind me, so taking cover behind this door is the best thing for it. However, it was very unnecessary for me to put down the health circle like I did, but it's okay. The defender shield guy is on his way, and he flashes me yet again. But I can just throw on another kinetic armor plate, and I'm healthed up very quickly. Using my headphones, I can hear him coming to the right. So I'm going to guess he's going to be using this main garage door here. I most definitely should have thrown a cluster grenade and taken better cover. I think I had the intention of running out of the door behind me, but I decided not to for some weird reason. I reloaded, and then I helped up. The medic helps you up very fast, so by the time he pushed me, I already had full health and he didn't even manage to land a single shot on me. Definitely time for a little execution. For giving me such a hard time, buddy. So his teammate clearly couldn't land anywhere near where his tags were, so they've had to take a vehicle and try and pick them up. I know he is going to be poorly equipped, so this is quite an easy fight. He is most definitely helping up in a corner here. Absolutely no challenge at all. Get some rest, soldier. Well, ladies and danglers, I hope you enjoyed watching me wipe some squads off the face of the map. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content, and I'll see you in the next one.